Hi kids. Okay, this is the math test, the math assessment 21. And just like we do in school, I am going to read each question to you um, in order to get a fair uh, view of if you know this uh, material, I ask that you not ask your parents for help. Um, and let's just see what you know so that we can best help you move forward in math. I know you all are going to do great. So put your name and date at the top and your number. And here is question number one. There are 22 children in room seven. 12 of these children are wearing sneakers. There are 24 children in room eight. 15 of these children are wearing sneakers. Altogether, how many children are wearing sneakers? So underline what exactly you're trying to find out then go back and bracket the important information and cross out anything that could be tricking or distracting you. Okay, let me read it to you again. There are 22 children in room seven. 12 of these children are wearing sneakers. There are 24 children in room eight. 15 of these children are wearing sneakers. Altogether, how many children are wearing sneakers? You're gonna write a number sentence and an answer, you can use CH for children. And I want you to use your workspace. Even if you think you know it without the workspace, please use that so that I can see your work. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute to do that. And then we'll move on to question number two. Remember, you can always pause if uh, you're feeling rushed. You also can come back up at the end and finish something if you don't quite have it done. Number two. Glenn has 14 baseball cards. Show how he will share them equally with his sister. Then it says one half of 14 is Underneath that, it says how many baseball cards will each child have? How many baseball cards will each child have? Number three, round each number to the nearest 10. Round each number to the nearest 10. Do you remember what? At what point do we go up? At what point do we go down? Okay, for number four, you need a yellow, red, blue, and green crayon. So go ahead and press pause while you get that. If you don't have the crayon, a marker or a colored pencil will be fine. Okay, so you need a, a yellow, a red, a blue and a green crayon. Color the cone yellow. Color the sphere blue. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Color the sphere red. Color the sphere red. Color the cylinder blue. Color the cylinder blue. Color the cube green. So one is not going to be colored, or two. Six, two are not going to be colored. Let's do that again. Color the cone yellow. Color the sphere red. Color the cylinder blue. and color the cube green. Number five, find the products. Remember when they use the term product, that means multiplication. So these think in terms of equal groups. 
And number six is find the answers. When you say find the answers, that means it could be different. Uh, they could be all different. For instance, there's two addition and then there's two subtraction. Sometimes we regroup, sometimes we don't regroup. And I would suggest once you've gone through and answered those four questions, you go back and do it again and make sure you get the same answer. So if you have two that are the same, then you know it's probably right. If you have two answers that are different, then you do it a third time and see which one is correct. Okay, kids, I know you all did fabulous. Thank you.